Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Challenges and Solutions. Which do you prefer? Answer that later on, okay? Uh, we're delighted to see all of you here. When we started this uh, conference, we were targeting uh, teachers, and we thought we'd have you know, a good small conference. We have been overwhelmed by the demand. More than 400 people were interested in coming, so already you're a select group. Um, but very, very glad that you made it here. Um, given that we targeted teachers originally, let me ask, how many of you here are teachers? Oh, my goodness, that's a huge number. That looks like 80-whatever percent, so that's fantastic. Um, I should add that in addition to the over 400 who wanted to come here, we have a number of people, details unknown, who are actually watching this through the live stream, through the camera. So perhaps you could turn to the camera that you can see and just wave to those people. Welcome to you, wherever you are, and we look forward to hearing from you about what you got out of this session. But um, let's see who else there is. Um, who do we have? Uh, are there any school principals among us? Yeah, we usually have a few. Thank you very much indeed. You guys are very important. Other educational professionals, psychologists, pedagogues. Good. Thank oh, that's good. That's uh, about 15 of those. Lovely. Um, people from international organizations or agencies. Good, there are a few of those. And let me add publishers in with that, because I know there are a few of those. There's about getting on for 10 of those. Uh, some university people, perhaps? Uh, yes, OK, we've got, uh, again, five to 10 of those. So we have a good mix. Now, why is this conference important to us in the British Council? Well, three reasons. We want to help schools, principals, teachers, teaching assistants, children, and parents. Secondly, we want to be the best partner to work with in this field of inclusive education. And thirdly, we are looking for opportunities to make a difference. For us uh, in the British Council, we have a, a, a quite thorough approach to equal opportunities and diversity. And fear not, I am not going to go through this in detail. But just to give you a flavor, in the central triangle there, three fundamental reasons why this is important. There are business reasons, there are legal reasons, but I think importantly for most of us, we feel there are moral reasons. This is the right thing to do. And in the circle around there, uh, you see a number of seven areas that we focus on, including things like um, ethnicity, religion or belief, gender, disability, sexual identity. All of these are important in different areas. And of course, over top left there, uh, supporting inclusion. And really, inclusive education is very much the theme of this. But another way of looking at this, uh, a simpler way, more graphic, is a salad bowl. Now, what do you like about, do you also like, so how many of you like salads? Let's have a look. Usually there's a good, good, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Serbia isn't all just meat eating. Um, the, the important things about this approach, our approach to education, is that it's about individuals, and each individual is unique. There's a distinctness, and by bringing together all of those, you get more richness, more variety, more color. Um, and crucially, it's really important for everyone to work well together while recognizing that we're not all the same and we don't need to be the same. So, I'll say a bit more later on, but for now, I'd like to welcome and greet another unique individual, our, our ambassador, Mr. Michael Davenport. Michael. Thank you, Tim. Thank you very much, uh, Tony. Um, welcome to all of you, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm really, really pleased that uh, this event uh, has attracted so much attention. Uh, it shows that uh, we are uh, taking part in uh, what is, I think, an increasingly lively debate uh, on the question of, of special 
needs for, for children and, and young people uh, in education. It's a, it's a worldwide debate. Uh, but what is encouraging, uh, I think, by the, the diversity and the size of today's audience is that it is a lively debate which is also very much taking place here in Serbia. I think that uh, the sharing of uh, experiences when it comes to uh, tackling uh, the challenges of, of special needs is especially important. It really can lead to new perspectives and new approaches which can help. Learning from one another, listening to parents, to children, to carers, wider families, friends, is all part of striving to do better in meeting the legitimate needs of children and young people. Now, uh, the, uh, Tony has set the wider context extremely well, I think. Uh, uh, the British government, like the Serbian government, is, of course, formally committed uh, across the board to equality and diversity and fundamental human rights as defining values of our societies. There is a shared commitment to fighting discrimination whether on grounds of, of age, belief, disability, gender, race, or indeed sexual orientation. And this is because this is absolutely essential for the rights and the dignity of every single individual. But it is also so that every single one of us is able to make a full contribution to the community in which we live, and so that the community can benefit from that diversity and that full contribution that each of us is capable and potentially of making. For the UK, for, the, for my government, uh, the aim in the area of special needs uh, in schools and in education more broadly is for all children and young people with special educational needs or disabilities to be able to reach their full potential in education. Also, and this is a crucial aspect, I think, for them to be supported to make a successful transition into adulthood, into employment or further education or higher education or the right sort of training for them. Achieving this is really a huge challenge, especially if you consider that according to the recent figures that I looked up, in the UK, actually in England, this, is, this applies, in England, 17% uh, of the school population have special needs of one kind or another. This is a dynamic field, and it's, I'm delighted that we have so much expertise in this room uh, from Serbia, and fortunately also we have some expertise from outside Serbia, and you will hear uh, from them later, from uh, Phil Dexter, from David Crabtree, uh, from the UK, and I hope that that will lead to a, a dynamic and lively discussion here. But... There is no set approach. Every society has its own way of dealing with the challenge. Uh, and the approach will change in response to experience, in response to research. I believe also that civil society and non-governmental organizations have a vital role to play in sharpening up our act in this area. In the UK, and you'll hear about this a bit more later, I understand, there is a major change in the offing following a lot of research, a lot of uh, agitation by civil society and NGOs and individuals, showing that there has in the past and still today been insufficient coordination over the provision of educational, health and social services support for children and young people uh, with special needs and for their families. 
I believe that a new approach will be for each individual child or young person to have a plan which will bring all of these aspects together so that the approach is tailored to an individual's needs. But I would like, uh, finally, just to stress the importance of the family and the importance of the friends uh, and uh, immediate environment uh, for each individual. All of us with experience of children growing up with special needs know full well the extent of the engagement by teachers, by parents, by siblings, not to be forgotten, by friends and wider family. But also the immense joy when those needs are met effectively and children with learning difficulties actually start to develop as you would all hope and really thrive as is indeed their right. So this is an important discussion and at an important time, which is, I think, very emotional also for, 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 for all of us involved, uh, but where real difference can be made to people's lives. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. It's now my pleasure to introduce another unique individual from one of our key partners, uh, Snezhena Vukovic from the Ministry of Education, Science and Technological Development. Snezhena. Thank you. Dobar dan svima. Vaša ekscelencijo, zahvaljujem što ste danas sa nama i što ste uvažili ovaj skup i problem sa kojim se mi čitavu deceniju nosimo. Gospodine Tony O'Brien, zahvaljujem vama i vašem timu što ste što je British Council uspeo da organizuje ovakav skup, očigledno Ovakav skup bi zahtevao mnogo veću salu no što, je, no što je trenutno imamo. Zahvaljujem vam svima, ne samo što ste tu, nego što ste nam pružili podršku da probamo da rešimo veliki problem uh, i, i, i strateški zadatak sa kojim se nosi Ministarstvo prosvete nauke i tehnološkog razvoja, ali i Nacionalni prosvetni savet, čiju predsjednicu pozdravljam i članove Nacionalnog prosvetnog saveta ko, koji su ovde. Nosimo se zajedno sa Svetskom bankom koja je na neki način podržala dajući kredit da rešimo silne zadatke koji su pred nama, a zadaci su, postali smo svesni tih zadataka negde 2001. druge kada smo počeli sa reformom, kada smo uz pomoć međunarodnih organizacija kroz razne projektne aktivnosti pokušavali da rešimo one male sistemske, sistemske probleme, tragajući za rešenjima velikih sistemskih problema. I onda 2009. sa izmenama zakona o osnovama sistema dali jednu dobru zakonsku podlogu da u stvari inkluzija ne bude samo projektna aktivnost u određenim školama, nego da to, to bude prosto proces koji je obavezan u svim školama i da naše obrazovanje bude ne samo dostupno za sve, već i kvalitetno za svu, za svu decu. Naravno, mi smo na polovini tog puta, uspeli smo mnogo toga, uspeli smo kroz grantove raznim lokalnim samoupravama, 56 lokalnih samouprava je dobilo grantove za proces inkluzije i realizaciju mnogih projekata, skoro 200 škola, 20 specijalnih škola, 17.000 zaposlenih u obrazovanju, a to ste u stvari vi dobilo je razne vidove obuka i podršku u, u razvoju sobstvenih kompetencija. Naravno, uradili smo dosta materijala, priručnika, ali smo svesni da smo tu negde na pola puta i da nam je potrebna jako velika podrška da rešimo sve one male probleme. Sada to više nisu veliki problemi, sada su to oni mali problemi na nivou škola i lokalnih samouprava koje nekako treba da rešavamo. Naravno, uz ovakvu vrstu podrške, razmenu iskustava koja nam je neophodna i uz vaš veliki angažman koji uvek očekujemo i zahvalni smo na tome. 
Zahvaljujem vam na pažnji. Bila sam kratka samo zahvaljujući činjenici da su, i nisam imala prezentacije, zahvaljujući činjenici da su me kolege iz British Council opomenuli, Snežana, nemoj kao uvek dugo i nemoj sa prezentacijom. Ali ja imam keca u rukavu, ovde je moja koleginica Borislava Maksimović koja je koordinator za inkluzivno obrazovanje, koja će čitavog dana biti sa vama i ona će biti vama velika podrška u odgovoru na mnoga pitanja koja imate, ali također će i ona biti ta koja će postavljati pitanja. Zahvaljujem se svima na pažnju. Hvala vam veliko, Snežana. A sad bih da se predstavljati Phil Dexter. Vi ste učinili nekako detaljali o njim u vašem programu. Vi ste učinili biodata, tako da se učinili ne učinili sve to vam. But just to say that Phil uh, works for us in our headquarters and he is leading for us on um, this area really and developing a, a strategy, developing policies for us in the area of special education needs but also in teacher development. So a man who's used to speaking to teachers. Phil. Okay, do I, do I just move on with this? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful to, to actually be here. I'm, I'm kind of the, the last of the kind of warm-up act. I was told I have about eight minutes, but I think I'll take much less than that, so we, we can get on to the main, the main body of the event. Um, um, thanks for that intro, Tony. Um, I must say, a lot of my work is, is in teacher development and working uh, with teachers. Um, my, my own specific work especially has been in, in, pr in primary and secondary. Uh, and working with teachers there, and you know, as far as I'm concerned, without uh, addressing the issue of special ed educational needs, additional needs, th then we can't effectively do do any of that work. So it's fantastic we we have this have this event. I also think it's really important we we are here, and um, Mary, David, myself, we're here to share expertise. But really, you know, I, I work I work with with teachers globally, you know, ac across Europe, um, in in Africa, in in, in India. And uh, you know, almost every every government has has adopted positive policies on in inclusion, um, but the, you know the, the real challenge is how we implement it, um, and they they are they are struggling and succeeding and doing all sorts of things in the same way as, as you are, you know. So I mean, I think it's important to say you're you're not alone, and you're you know so and and I think this event is very much about that. It's also very much about listening to to what you're doing, and it's it's great that uh, we've also got speakers from from Serbia here as well, actually. Bailey Anna and, and, and Vera, um, and I think you know for, for us also it, it, it's about learning from you about about how, how you're doing it as well. I just want to briefly go through a, f a few few issues, possibly putting this in, in a wider context as well. Um, I think it's been said in all in all in all in all the the introductions so far that really this this is about celebrating difference. You know, it's about how we how we integrate uh, whatever we're doing in special educational needs. In, in our, in our uh, curriculum and our resources and in, in, in our materials, um, it's both about how we do that at planning stages, but also how, how we give how we give support to, to to teachers in the classroom where where we're really that 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 that's where the issue is, and uh, it's about practical solutions, and fundamentally it's it's about addressing all learners and how all learners can achieve at the maximum of their possibility and uh, uh, potential. Um, just, just a few things. Just a, um, you've got in your packs. You've got an advert of a new course that we're that we're, we're producing that will be be ready very soon. And actually, Mary is one of the lead the lead writers of this of this course. And there's another team who are who are who are very much involved in in the area of additional needs and special needs as well as in English language teaching. Um, and uh, and this will be available then very very soon. We already have have courses for for primary and secondary. What we call actually certificate in primary English language teaching and certificate in secondary English language teaching. And there, there are modules in there also on, on, on special needs. So, uh, um, plus we, 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 we have this booklet, which you all got in your pack as well. Um, and I think one of the important things about this booklet, it's, it's a lot of teachers working, working in British Council systems and working, working globally who are not necessarily trained in working with learners and special needs. And it's their experience of, of, of what they've been doing, and I think this is very much what this is about as well. You know, it, it, it's for all teachers, really. We're not talking about kind of specialists and special educational needs. In fact, everyone can, can become a specialist because it's based on, the, on your experience. So I'd, I'd certainly, I'd certainly um, recommend you to, to, to look at this. Yeah. 
Okay, um, this, this is all part of what we call a wider approach to kind of professional development. And in, in the British Council, we have developed something called a, a continuous professional development framework. And really, what, what this is about, it, it's a framework and a guideline. It's not a, it's not a kind of um, imposition. I mean, you, you probably you know about a common European framework in terms of language levels. This isn't a, a mirror for, for, for actually teachers, but, it's, uh, but it, is, it is also six levels. And uh, it's, it's a framework of, it's really trying to help, help teachers map um, and what kind of training and support they need through their teaching life. Really, and uh, all our courses, and, and, and not just our courses, we, we kind of map into this about what, what's the appropriate kind of training and, and development that teachers can, uh, can actually choose through their, whether they're starting in their career, whether they're, they're developing experience, or whether they, they want to work in, go into more, more kind of specialist areas. Um, and um, I know there's been a lot of work done, done here on, 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 on CPD, as we call it, and uh, I think that this, this is the context I think of, of the work we're doing in special edu educational needs as well as everything else. Yeah. Okay, and, and of course I'm sure most of you know we, we have our website teach, in, in Teaching English and this is the, basically the home of where everything is, where we have webinars and seminars. Um, so I'd, I'd certainly recommend for you, for you to, go, to go into this. Um, I'm going to stop there and I, I look forward to working with you for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, Phil. Um, so before I pass on to the first plenary speaker, we should respond to that. So given what he's advising us globally, what are we doing here in Serbia? How are we adapting and applying these um, areas to our work in Serbia? Well, you will know that, I'll get there before Christian, um, that we have been arranging a series of workshops around the country which have been delivered by Biljana Pavlovic and Vera Savic, who will be speaking later today. Uh, and there's a list of all the towns uh, where, and cities where we've held those workshops. Can I ask how many of you have attended any of those workshops? Okay, that's good, but it's only about 20, 25%. So Christian, Vera, uh, Biljana, lots of work to do, uh, which is uh, good uh, in many ways. Um, for us, th this is a, a very important aspect of our work. Some of these have been held in regional development centers, and uh, I think 11 of the 12 uh, around the country are hosting a, a live streaming this morning. So again, a chance to wave at those people. Hope you are there making good use of the regional development centers, and that's a network that we certainly want to continue working with. Um, we also... Uh, want to extend our work with our other partners, the, the Ministry of Education, obviously, uh, the Council of Europe, uh, the National Education Council, and others who are represented here. We also think it would be good to have some more research. The point Phil made about governments uh, have good policies and introduce things, but implementation is always much more of a challenge. And from the data we have, from 193 respondents to Vera's survey, um, we hear that 75% of teachers report no professional development yet for special education needs. We know that 77% say there's no classroom assistant available. But on the other hand, 78% indicate that they have a special education needs support team in their institution. And I take that as a very, very good sign, and this is certainly what we want to, to build on. So our action plan includes developing projects with partners and possibly setting up another gathering, conference, uh, seminar, colloquium later in the year, perhaps for a, a slightly different uh, group of professionals. But that's for the future. First of all, let's see how this conference goes. So, thank you very much to our um, opening speakers, and I think I should allow you, if, if you can stay, to go there, because there'll be a plenary with, I think, uh, quite a few slides. So, can we give a big hand to our, our openers? Thank you very much indeed. Seats.